$700 high point? What the hell does a $700 high point look like? Oh, that's pretty. Tonight, we've got a special, special feature for you. Tonight, we've got the $700 high point. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today we bring you the $700 high point. What do you want to know what a $700 high point looks like? Well, there you go. One $700 high point. It's a $230 rifle! Yes, yes, Miles. Yeah, it is a $230 rifle, but uh, once we knock some of the ugly off of this rifle, it's a $700 high point. What the heck is the matter with you? It's like putting a body now, kit on a Miata. Smiles, it's still a freaking Miata! Be nice, Mr. Smiles. Be nice. All right, well, what this makes us a $700 high point? Well, first of all, we'll go through all the uh, things we uh, we put on this rifle in order to uh, to take some of the ugly off of it. But this is not my rifle. This is the Q-Man's rifle. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Yes, I sleep very well at night, Mr. Smiles. Thank you. But yes, this is the Q-Man's rifle. This is the first rifle he ever purchased. Uh, he wanted to build an AR, uh, but uh, him being under 21, trying to buy a lower... Uh, a lot of the dealers either didn't want to sell it to them or you go to the gun shows. And... All right, you may ask yourself now, how does one spend $700 on a high point? That's a good question. Q-Man, how in the world did you manage to spend $700 on a high point? Thanks to Amazon and yeah. eBay and Google. Yeah, 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 eBay and Google. Well, that'll, that'll get you every time. All right, well, let's take a look at this rifle and see what we have done to it. Um, it first started out with the foregrip. Uh, he went online, bought himself a foregrip, uh, went to put it on, and it would not fit. Um, why would it not fit? Well, it seems that the high point rails, plastic rails that come on the gun, are weaver rails, and they're not Picatinny. Uh, the foregrip he bought was a Picatinny foregrip. So that meant that uh, he had to do one of two things, either return the foregrip, but he really liked the fact that this one has the bipod on it, or switch over to a Picatinny rail. And we went over on eBay and found a comp company out there that sells replacement Picatinny rails for high points. Now they've got a real nice aluminum rail here. Um, the original rail stopped right about here. Uh, this has got a full size, a full length top rail on it and a little bit longer bottom rail on it. But they're both aluminum, they're both Picatinny. Um, really, really nice, gives you a really good solid mounting point in which to put your optics and, and your other accessories. Um, the other thing that, uh, while well, he was looking for rails, and this company also makes uh, rails that go along the side too, but he didn't want to tech to cool it out that much. Just wanted to take a little ugly off of it, not all of it. But uh, the other thing he found uh, was this charging handle. And when uh, he went online and found this charging handle, he also found a company that makes barrel shrouds, and they also make uh, flash and or suppressors or compensators for uh, this rifle. So he went ahead and ordered the cocking handle. Um, we also went and replaced the sights with a sight mark, red dot sight. Um, it's an all right red dot sight. Um, for the short ranges that he's going to use it, it's going to work just fine. Um, he also put some uh, Magpul backup sights on this with the 45 degree offsets. Uh, we'll show you some, some closer pictures here of, of these options. Um, and then he went ahead and bought the barrel shroud and this uh, compensator flash hider deal. Um, really, really looks nice. Uh, I really think it took some of the ugly off this rifle. It's a, it's a sharp, sharper looking rifle now than it was originally. and I'm going to give you uh, my review and impressions on the high point. Things I like, things I don't. Um, you know, this is Q-Man's rifle, so I really don't have a dog in this fight. It's not mine. I'm kind of an impartial uh, reviewer of this. If you ask him, he likes it. 
And it's not a bad rifle. Uh, for his intended purpose, he plans on taking this and using this in competition at the zombie shoot this fall and maybe next spring. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run this through the competition. We'll film it and we'll show you uh, competing with a high point. But uh, as for the rifle itself, let's start with the trigger. Now, you know, mom said if you can't say anything nice, you shouldn't say anything at all. So, you know, the trigger, I will give it one thing, it is consistent. Uh, it is a very consistent trigger, uh, consistently kind of bad, but it is consistent. Um, you, know, you pull the trigger, there's no take up, uh, real spongy, uh, kind of stack, 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 stacks, and then when, when it breaks, it's like you know going over the edge of a roller coaster, and uh, you know there's a little trigger slip. Wait a minute. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. That, that was I'm sorry, that wasn't the high point. Let's. Let's grab the high point here and let's let's show you the trigger on this high point. All right, like I said, you know, there's no take up. It's really really firm, squishy, squishy, and it falls. Hey, will somebody call high point and tell us tell them that Nerf stole their trigger? Wow, yeah, that, that's eerily similar. Wow, no wonder he likes it so much. He's been shooting Nerf guns for a long time. It's a two hundred thirty dollar rifle. Uh, one of the other things I, I we've encountered with this rifle, um, you know, you got your bolt hold open here, um, but if you just pull the bolt hold open and let it close, it will not pick up the first round. Um, you really got to make sure you, you cock it back that little extra little bit for it to pick up the first round. So um, that is that is something that uh, is maybe an issue for you. Uh, just have to, to realize that. When you go to uh, rack this, you got to pull it all the way back, otherwise it won't pick up the next round. Dude, it's a two hundred thirty dollar um, rifle. One of the things that we put on there is this bipod, uh, this foregrip with the bipod. Um, I like the I like that feature. It's one less thing to have to carry to the range. Um, gives you a nice stable platform to shoot off of when you're at the bench. Um, I also like the the shroud here that we put on it with the uh, Flash suppressor uh, also kind of sort of muffles the sound a little bit. Um, you know, still got a, a pretty good report, but it changes that pitch a little bit. Uh, makes it sound pretty mean. Uh, I do like the Magpul sights that we put on there. They're pretty accurate. Uh, all right. You know, another thing I do not like about this rifle is that it's heavy. Um, this rifle. Let's get it on the scale here. But it's weighing in at eight and a half pounds unloaded. Um, for me, that that's a pretty heavy rifle for a pistol caliber carbine. Uh, but you know, it, with the weight on it, it is going to mitigate the recoil. Um, maybe uh, good for competition. We'll see. We're like I said, we're going to uh, take this to a uh, zombie shoot and, and run it through some competition, see how well it runs. But you know, it is a very heavy rifle at eight and a half pounds. What what the hell is the matter with you? It's a two hundred thirty dollar rifle. So overall, there's you know a few things to. To not like about the rifle, you know, the other thing I don't like, you know, it was so ugly that it was four hundred and fifty dollars in order to knock some of the ugly off of it. Um, you have to add some accessories to it to to improve the uh, the rifle and the design. And we haven't even touched the trigger uh, or trigger mechanisms. In it. It's the stock trigger. We haven't done much of anything uh, in it, you know, to maybe accurize it a little bit more. I'm not sure how far we're going to go with that. Um, I did notice that the boundless the crown. Uh, the barrel was cut and was not crowned. Um, it still has kind of the raw knobs on it for the uh, the rifling after they ran the, uh, the reamer through it to, uh, to groove the rifling in it. Uh, so they didn't crown it. It is straight. I mean, it is cut straight and then they uh, they grooved it. What the heck's the matter with you? It's a $230 rifle! Yes, Mr. Smiles. It is a $230 rifle. Are you uh, maybe a closet or a, a high point fanboy? You know what? At least I'm man enough to admit it and not like some little Glock fanboys I know of. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I own one Glock. I am not a Glock fanboy. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Traitor. Quit hacking the channel, please. Please. All right. Well, let's get on to, uh, to um, this rifle. He, he kind of got me... Ugh. All right. So we'll, we'll get back to this rifle. All right, but overall, as I said, I would give this rifle a, a passing grade. If you've only got $230 to spend on a rifle, and you're a college student, young young kid, um, you know, just want to have something to go out and play with, um, something maybe for some home home or self-defense, 
Yep. This has been ultimately reliable for us. We've had a couple hundred rounds or a little over a couple hundred rounds through this. Haven't cleaned it at all. Uh, we had one stove pipe and that stove pipe was early uh, within the first 20 rounds. After that, the thing is just run. Um, and it's been fairly accurate at 50 yards. I mean, your golf ball size holes. Um, you, can, you can run ragged holes in it at 50 yards. Uh, you start getting much past that, uh, you know, that the energy really stops dropping off and that bullet really starts losing its oomph. Uh, but, you know, it'd be great, great for a young person or somebody looking for, you know, an inexpensive home defense rifle. Um, this would fit the bill very well. Uh, you just have to re realize some of its downfalls, uh, you know, some of its, uh, its little quirks, you know, like having to pull that, that you know, handle all the way back to get it to load the first round. Um, at one time, the only magazines available were for a 10 round. We do have one of the new Red Ball 20 round magazines. Those are actually endorsed by High Point. They're the, the only magazine uh, that High Point endorses for their rifle. But you know, at 20 rounds of, of ammo of 9 mil, uh, that should get the job done for you. Uh, but it's a great little plinking rifle. I think we're going to use it in some competitions. It's going to be just a fun little rifle. Um, the other thing with High Point is that they have a sterling reputation of taking care of their customers. Uh, and that goes a long ways for a lot of people. You know, I've got a buddy, he's got one of the older styles of these. He's got 10,000 rounds through his and hasn't had an issue. So they're tough, they're reliable, uh, they're ugly, uh, they, you know, they're durable, or seem to be durable, and if you do have a malfunction, High Point usually takes care of it. So I'm going to give High Point a passing grade on this. Um, is this my cup of tea? No, I'm probably not going to go out and buy a High Point carbine for myself um, now that we've, uh, we've played around with this one. Um, if it was something where I just needed an inexpensive pistol caliber carbine, yeah, uh, you know, it would work. It would do the job. I'm going to save a little bit more money and, and get something a little nicer. I've been looking at sub 2000s. Uh, unfortunately, when I find them, I don't have the money. And when I have the money, I can't find them. Or um, I'm going to look at the uh, the Beretta Storms, or you know, or something in in that line. But this is 45 Level Charlie Papa Channel. Hope you found this uh, video informative and a little funny. And I'm out. Well, underneath it all, it's she's still hideous. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> she's a sexy beast. Yeah, but she's a sexy beast. Oh. That's pretty. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Now it's time to play a little game that I like to call Find the Glock. Thank you.